Okay, so I got a couple of things in the mail and um, gifted that I just want to share and swatch. So. First things first. Well, holy smokes. Let me say hello first. Hey there, it's Grace. Welcome back. Welcome if you are new. Thank you for being here for another Grace video. Now that that's over with, let's get back to the business at hand, shall we? I'm going to share something because I'm going to get to the swatching in, in a little bit, which that envelope is. But this is my first Galen leather purchase. What? I'm totally... I am... Uh, the bookbinder in me, again, is loving this box because I'm going to keep it. I don't know what I'm going to put in it. Anyway, here... It, oh, that's the thing. Let's take it out of it. Let's just take it out. We don't need to have the box anymore. So we got this beautiful pouch that I'm definitely gonna be using. I've never got a Galen Leather um, item before, so I don't know what they send. So we're just gonna take a look. Oh, I got an old oh, beautiful pen sleeve. Look at that. That's good. Oh, feel the leather. Oh my gosh. Alrighty. And then we got some tea and a refreshing towel and coffee something something's in there i'll check that out later and then um oh a tag that i'm definitely going to be saving the evil eye charm gotta read that but i'll read that later that's gorgeous that's i like that packaging your packaging so cool Alrighty, um, ooh, coupon. Receiving that very nicely. What is that? Is that stickers? Oh yeah, it's stickers. So cool. Oh, another one. Oh, that, that's a card. That's a, um, I use these for blotting paper. Istanbul shopping. Of course, they're, they're, in, they're in Turkey. The beauty you see in me is a reflection of you, Rumi. I love that quote. Alrighty, and then, the um card okay i'll read that later too but let's get to i love that absolutely love that let's get to what i purchased come on i don't want to tear you so you need to come off like i don't know why i don't want to tear it because it's not as if it's going to go back in that in that band look at that I forgot which one I got. If I remember, I'll put it on the screen. Which um, style I got, or the the um, the leather I got. It is gorgeous. It has the obviously Galen leather stamp on there. For some reason, um, I knew Galen leather was in Turkey, but I didn't remember. And when it came, I'm like, where is this? When it came in the mail, I'm like, who sent me something from Turkey? What the flip? And then I remembered. But what I got is something I, I don't have and something I would love. It is this pen holder. And I, I want it so I can keep on my desk and just... I have this little raised thing area on my desk that I keep all of my used um, items. And I always have to open my rickshaw case. I love my rickshaw case, but really is a traveling case. And I think I want to have this on my desk where I just stick a pen in there and pull as needed. I love that idea. Plus, I love the fact that it can travel and travel with room to put stuff in. I mean, it's big enough to put stuff in. Oh, so impressed. Oh my God. Um, if you cannot tell, I am sniffing this leather. Wow, beautiful, beautiful workmanship. Look at that! What? What, what, what? Alrighty, let's get to the second package. Um, one of my members, my Kofi members, sent this to me. I didn't want to have her address there. I love the way that she writes my name. Isn't that Gore, I love that. This is what I want to practice. I want to practice calligraphy. So there is that. Let me open it. And there's always a um, wax seal stamp. This is a different one than the one that she um, she sent the last time. Let's open this up because I want to keep the wax stamp. Let's see. Oh, I'm 
so excited. Thank you, April. Thank you very much. What's in there? Oh, it's a card. Let's see. Hello, as I mentioned, here are some inks for you to try. I hope they're new to you and the, that you enjoy swatching them. Thank you again for all the great pen and ink content this year. I hope the remainder of 2020 to 24 treats you and your family well. Sincerely, April. Hey, April. Thank you very much, girl. Oh, oh there's stuff in there. I'll read that later. But we'll put that away. And I don't know about you, but I keep all of these things. I keep all of the, if there's something, if there's something worth keeping for me, I I want that. Look, I just love to look how just beautiful, just the beautifulness of that. Okay, let's get to what she sent. The inks she sent. Okay, let me, I'm going to also, there are a couple of other inks that I got that I want to swatch, swatch. <laughs> that I want to swatch, so I'm gonna swatch these. But I just had my, uh, went to my pen meetup, and one of the ladies there, hey Cindy, thank you so much, thank you so much. She heard that I wanted the rose quartz, and she has a few bottles. So she gifted me a bottle of rose quartz, the Pelican ink from last year, so sweet, oh my God. And then, um, I'll talk about this one in a minute. And then one of the one of the guys, he, I think he's a newbie. I didn't I didn't even catch his name. I need I'm sorry. If you see this, thank you. Because I got this from you. Um, I apologize for not um, remembering your name. Lee de Tay. This is Jacobin Lee de Tay. I was into this one. And, but it wasn't high on my list. But when he said he was he had inks that he doesn't use and he just wants people to have them, uh, they were about six or seven of them and I'm like can I have this one please and he's like yeah go ahead it's yours and then my friend Vanessa hey Vanessa um she was playing with something that I am just anxious to play with she played with adding mica to the ink and it works like shimmer but in a different way it's so gorgeous so I want to um swatch this this ink she had it in is um Urban Ver de Gris winter mica so basically it's a silver shimmer i'm excited about that Alrighty, let me set things up and then i'll be right back all righty let's get the show off the road so i'm calling this one random acts of kindness and of course this card makes sense right Alrighty, first one up i'm gonna just go in big first one up is the gift of the Pelican um, 2023 ink. Let's get this out. It always has stuff with it. You know, I'm not a person who keeps the boxes for inks, but that is one that I'm going to keep. Um, this one is Rose Quartz. And I had such a good time with it. With the, um, I got a little sample of it before. So I'm going to just to do a little sample of it today and I'm using my this is my calligraphy um, B1 2 round nib that I will be using So I will be using my Jinhao 82 glass dip pen. This is golden. Oh, what the wrong wrote the wrong word. We will tap to the there. Um, we will change that imminently um i kind of like that hmm. that's really so pretty 
And I want, I'm actually going to, you know what, I'm going to come in just a tad on this one. Much better. Alrighty, I'm just going to put this little bit so we see if it has any other properties in it. It's a beautiful, absolutely gorgeous pink. And it's, it's not necessarily a, um, a dusty pink. It's got hints of um, like a cashmere pink color. Anyway, next up we have... Ooh, this is a wet ink. Wow. Wow. Ooh. Dang. That is gorgeous, though. It's a beautiful deep brown. This is... see how it writes. That's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Alrighty. This next one is the one I got from my friend uh, that has the mica. Um, mica. She mixed this herself. She added, so this ink is Urban Ver de Gris Winter Mica. So I'm assuming when it says winter mica, that means it's silver. Mica bits. And we got a little bit of extra there. Okay. Why? I don't know why I. I expected that to be more green than it actually is. But we will go with whatever it has offering for me. one for this side is so gorgeous all right one of the first five that my friend sent me I'll put this over here for now is roar and cleaner um smarag de grun Sm and I'm not sure I'm saying that correctly but it is um it's called viridian green and the name Smaragd Grun means emerald, from what I can read about it. Oh yeah, that's kind of like an emerald. Whoa. Ew. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's really seriously pretty. Oh my, that's so bright. I think it's brighter than, um, what did I have? Diamond ink then from Diamond Velvet Emerald, I think is the name. Wow. It's a gorgeous color. That's amazing. We're in a room just about. Okay, well, let, me, let me see if I can get this name spelt correctly. Um, I'm hoping that we don't get a trippage. 
Alrighty, let's spell this name. on the second strokes, which is the up and the side stroke, come in better than all the other strokes. That is fascinating, because usually upstrokes don't come in as much as the nib is not pointed the right way. All right, next one up, I'm gonna do this so I don't get all the thing. The second one um, she sent was this one called Diamine Pink. It's that's a bright pink. That is a bright pink. I'm gonna let you all come up just a touch because you're all in the way, man. Okay, that's much better. All right, this is... I wonder if in any videos you guys check how many times I say alrighty. <laughs> alrighty. Alrighty. Let's... <laughs> we are a bit dry because that dip did not do anything. That's a serious bright. Oh, wow. That's brighter than I expected. Although it is fading away a lot of it, that bright pink. And this one is, who is this? Oh, that's right. Gonna use this for headers, maybe not for writing. That is it's almost like a freaking hot pink. Serious. Serious. I was gonna use you, but I'm gonna take you out of the running because I don't need you in there. Alrighty, that's that's the um, Diamine Hope Pink. Next one up is Wearing Ghouls Enki, and it's a shimmer. Enki. And let me just shake it up, shake, shake, shake it up so that we can get that shimmer in there. Enki. What is Enki about? It's a blue. Wow. So it's a baby blue. Let me shake it up again. Hopefully some of that shimmer will sh cleave to the glass dip nib. And this one is, you didn't want to settle in there, did you? Um, don't do well. Upstrokes just don't do well with pens. I can actually see for this end key, I can actually see some, you know what this looks like? This looks like cotton candy, like bluish pink cotton candy. The pink undertones are definitely coming through. And apparently, one of the things I read about this one is um, the ink is inspired by the god of wisdom and the god of water. Makes sense. Look at the blue. Look at the blue. Next one. Next one. And I don't think this has any properties in it. This one is by Colorverse. And this one is, watch me spill it on my paper, wearing ghoul. Wearing gold, milky lavender. Well, dang, I didn't like that because I'm talking and telling you all about the color, this color verse um, milky lavender in my machine. My camera stopped working. Anyway, this color is called color verse milky lavender. Look at that purple, y'all. Look at that purple. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. 
Alrighty, one more. And I've changed cards in the camera so that we can get the... I only have one more to go anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Alrighty, so last one up is Roar and Klingner Solferino. Sounds fascinating. Solferino. Is that an interesting thing? Okay. Let's see what we have. Solferino. Another purple. It's a deeper, oh, much deeper purple. Oh, it's heading into pinky magenta e coloring. So if this one is lavender, this one is purple magenta. There we go. before I do a little, little chat chat. I want you to know that this is actually take two of the final thoughts, the close-up views, and that's because some of the inks have dried. I kind of went into it, I didn't wait for them to dry, and now they're all dry, I'm gonna do like a double take. Here's take two. So this first one is Pelican Rose Quartz. You know what? I need to, I haven't done that yet. I will, I will take that away. Should I take that away now? Yes, I should. Okay, I took it away because it was driving me up a wall. Anyway, let's get back to what we were saying. This is Pelican Rose Quartz, the 2023 ink for last year. The 2023 ink for the Pelican Hub. That's what I need to say. Look at that juiciness. What? Now this is actually an ink, even the writing is gorgeous. This is an, actually an ink I would write with. I'm not a fan of dusty pinks because sometimes they come up too gray, too muted, too light. That, this, I should say, this is gorgeous. Look at this thing, the Lee de Tay. Everybody's been talking about Lee de Tay and I'm like, yeah, it's okay, it's a brown. Okay, whatever. Now I know. I swear, in here, it wants to look like it is coming up like a dark, dark green over there. Just absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And this is one that surprised me. This is the one that my friend did, um, Vanessa did with um, mica in it. So it, it mimics the shimmer. And this is winter mica, I think it's called, or she calls the, put it on the bottle. Look at that thing. I swear, this is the one that I thought was a blue. I don't know, I think it was because verdigris. That, I don't know what, I thought gris was green or verdigris was green, but anyway, this is Urba verdigris. And it is a gorgeous, it's like a, um, it's like a translucent bluey thing going on. Anyway, um, and then we have the four by, the five given to me, sent to me by, by a friend, Roar and Klingner, Smaragdegrun. I'm not sure I'm saying that right, but I gotta say, look at that green. I am kind of liking my nail up against there too. That's gorgeous. Okay, no, we're not doing that. This, um, I th I've read that this word, Smaragdegrun, means emerald. And you think, look at that. I cannot tell you how light it's showing up in the camera, but in person, it is gorgeous. It is a beautiful, beautiful green. Alrighty, 
this next one is so surprising. This one, all of these on this page, which is why I want to do the second, the um, second time around for these, because look at the thing that happens around there. And I want to say it's a sheen. It's almost like a, let me, let me look, let me look closely one second. It's almost like a golden sheen that shows up around the edges of that. Oh my word. I'm so surprised in that pink, that hot pink undertone. So pretty. And this is the one that I thought reminded me of cotton candy, especially this bit here. But what didn't show up in the last thing, part time I recorded is, look at that shimmer. Look at that shimmer showing up. Showing off, just showing off. And that blurple color shading around the edges here. It doesn't necessarily show up in the writing, but I think, you know, it does. It shows up in the K right here. I think I'm gonna put this in a stub or a really broad nib and see what happens. I think that's where this will shine. And then there's Colorverse Milky Lavender. Um, I love the undertones of the color. Uh, you see the, the written, the handwriting comes up with this color here and it doesn't necessarily show this darker shading bit, although the flower does show that. This will be, I think this will be good to see this in a broader nib as well. And then the last one, and this is this is one of the reasons, this one and this one, it's one of the reasons why I wanted to retape this, re-record this. Look at that sheen. What in the world? Roran Klingner, Solferino, oh, just gorgeous, deep, it's like a purpley, pinky color, which is magenta, basically, and then you have this gorgeous sheen that just showcases. I want to, I want to see it in the writing. Let me see if I can see it. I can see it in the flower. And I can see it on the beginning end of the writing in person. It's not showing up on camera. Oh, maybe it is. Maybe you see it. But anyway, I just wanted to come in here and just do a do-over well, with these inks dry because the magic of them comes through when they're dry. Such gorgeous colors. My gosh. Loving this. So we have this, my new case, my new Galen leather case and a pen sleeve that's pretty cool and one more thing I want to just showcase in this particular video I got this I'm part of Simone's discord and I just want to share let's see if I can get it out there I just want to share what you know Simone for I think for November she did a postcard a day or postcard a, I think it was a 30 inks thing so this is the postcard, your life is your art. Brilliant, beautiful, love it. And she wrote a note for me. Um, and then she said, oh, I've always wanted one of these. I've seen her use these in her journal. Um, beautiful, I love that. It's dated, a dated, um, what is this called? Tape, no, sticker. Whoa, that took a while. Oh, so that's the ink that's on the um what's written on the back Birmingham Penco cherry blossom oh I wish I wish I could get these cards but I don't want to have to redo all my things and then some other stickers she sent look at that so this is it's not even exactly a haul but it, I'm as I said I'm calling this random acts of kindness thank you all who donated to the pile that's sitting here I'm going to have fun using them. Thank you very much. Appreciate you, all the peoples, all the things. Bye.